Okay, just out here at the uh, one of the gold gold fields and Nenart has uh, kindly brought out some different DLF machines and the the new Gold Monster 1000 and a few sub gram gold. That's your gold panning stuff. Yeah. And inside of that. Two little sub grammars, so it's picking that up okay. And then the two rocks on the side there have a little gold specimen in them. One's a real small sub grammar. And just picking up something very slightly. Yeah, we've only got it on uh, sensitivity six because we've got this electric fence right there. Yes. There we go. That's probably got a 0.2 of a gram inside of that. It's a reef specimen. Straight out of a reef that I uh, dug out. Just turn it up to uh, sensitivity eight. So that's on. That's six. You can see six notches or six segments. Seven, eight. Much better. You can hear that pulsing there. Yes, yeah, so we have to say they're uh, just not even uh, 200 meters away. There's 30,000 volt power lines here. Now those ones one are sort of just there as well. <laughs> yeah, they're only just over here, and they're those ones that they're a big. Big uh, power lines on those four-legged power poles, as such. Mm. So they actually pulsing out some EMIs, <laughs> believe me. Little... And uh, I don't think you want little specie here. How much do you reckon is that in that? Oh, that point one, if you're lucky. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. Picking that up, okay? Yeah, no worries. And it'd be better again with the small five inch coil, too. Well, that'd be right, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it seems to be a lot better. So when it, when it locks onto something solid, you can see you get full, the bars go positive. So that's it's pretty confident it's going to be something non-ferrous. Another good one there. That's what we say. It's like gold here. <laughs> yeah, people could have dropped it. Another one there. Now this is in the all-metal deep mode, so it 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 is beeping on everything. So, in this mode, your ferrous and non-ferrous targets basically give you the same tone. So if you want to discriminate, you've got to look at the, um, the ID scale. Another good one there. So if we want to uh, reject iron audibly so we don't actually hear it, press the button and uh, yeah it's going to knock out all our iron any iffy ones just ignore so what, what we've got here is uh, we've got something ferrous here um, which is in the ground and just right next to it we've just buried a a little jar of uh, a lot of shoddy pellets. Just see it on the side here. Yep. Uh, so just to sort of simulate uh, if there's a nugget next to a bit of trash. So right on this, you get a nice positive response. Same as on the junk. So if we want to get rid of the junk, we get out of deep mode 
Um, so that will blank out our iron. So let's see if it blanks out the iron. Perfectly. Now the shoddy pellets. All right, they're coming through nice and solid. But if we're coming across this way, which in the real world you don't know what's in the ground, so what we hear is a beep and then a blank. So a beep and a blank. Now it's doing it consistently. So that should really tell us something that we've got a good target and potentially a bad target. Now if it went beep and then just disappeared and, and stopped giving us that beep, we could, we could safely walk away. So if you're ever out in the field and this happens, all you need to do is just change the orientation of your coil. So if we come across it at 90 degrees, get a nice positive hit on the lead and the ferrous target just blanks out. So now we're definitely sure we, we've got to dig that out basically. Whereas if you just left it as it was before, a lot of people might walk away. Alright. Yeah, so now if we put that back to all mode, we'll pick up that uh, yeah. virus, won't we? Yeah, look at that. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, uh, you know, it just uh, goes to show if you do get some sort of a sight signal, you come around on another angle. Yeah, and, and that's the same as uh, when you're coin detecting, you know. So, um, yep. Same thing. Um, it's just, yeah, different. Different targets, still targets in the ground, and yeah, the more the more cleanly you can go over the good target, the better the accuracy is going to be. Okay, so that's for the, uh, the new detector, the Gold Monster One Thousand.